Okay, so now that we've seen the different types of formula, we're going to try and name salts now. Now, what are a salt? Well, a salt is simply a compound formed from a metal, so the left-hand side of the periodic table, and a non-metal, so the right-hand side of the periodic table, through an electron transfer reaction. Okay, so you've transferred an electron from a metal to a non-metal, and you've got sort of a bond, and that is a salt. Okay, and now we're going to try and name salts. So when naming a salt, the, the metal's name comes first. Okay, so if I was mixing sodium with chlorine, we get NaCl, and to name this, we'd call it sodium chloride. Okay. So the non-metal, the reason why I said chloride was because the last three letters of its name, the non-metal that is, is replaced with the suffix "-ide", okay? So the, the metal comes first, normal name, sodium. Now we've got chlorine. So we drop the last three letters, I-N-E, and then we add "-ide", so it becomes chloride, so chloride, so it becomes sodium chloride. So for instance, magnesium and oxygen, here's another one. We've got magnesium, and then you drop the N bit, and it becomes oxide. Okay, so you take the first sort of syllable and add "-ide". Okay. okay, what about naming this compound? Okay, good question. Naming, we've just learned how to name these non-metal compounds, so what do we do? So it's composed of N and O. Simple. Now, if you look on your periodic table, the leftmost element is nitrogen. So look on your periodic table, they should be sitting right next to each other. Um, and the leftmost one will be nitrogen. And so there, and there are two of these nitrogens, right? There's two. So we say di-nitrogen. Di is the prefix we use for two. So we've got di-nitrogen here. Now oxygen becomes oxide, remember? because it is on the, it's more to the right. So we drop the second syllable and we add "-ide". And there are four of them. And if you look up the IUPAC naming, four is not quad, it's tetra. Um, I'm actually not sure why that is, but it's just standard now. So four is tetra, so it's tetra oxide. Okay, so we've got tetra oxide here. And if we put them together, you've got Di-nitrogen tetraoxide, okay? And so di-nitrogen, there's two. Tetra, there's four. And you can see where the rest comes from. 